Hi, and so we've been doing a lot of stuff in the last few weeks where we've been talking about different trans topics, and one of them was relationships. So we thought, since we are both here, why don't we talk about relationships and our one? <laughs> Especially in the light of kind of recent yes. news. Yes. So I guess, yeah, we could talk a bit about how we got together and how. Yeah. You engineered that scenario. <laughs> engineered. Well, I must say there was a little bit of um, sequencing of events to bring us together. So we kind of started following each other on Twitter, but I don't really yeah. remember don't know who, who followed whom. I think you followed first. me, and then I thought you looked an interesting account, so I followed you back. Yeah, then we. It's a little bit of like kind of mutual liking of tweets, and I seem to. I remember one where you were. Uh, so you mutual liking of tweets. That's a, <laughs> that's a that's a thing that the kids yes, do now. Yes, mutual liking of tweets, yeah. and um, but I remember one. You like were, tweets safely. <laughs> Always do it safely. I remember you lying in your bed with a couple of friends with you. <laughs> Oh. They were cuddly toys. We should be clear <laughs> on the fact that. The, Is it? Oh, <laughs> they're was, cute. Cut, what are their names? Yeah. Yes. What are their names? There's only got like some of those ones. Yeah, Prof and Steve. Yeah. Um. No. Oh, I forget what that was. But then I think the next thing was your. That was probably like October, November last year. No, oh, year before last. Year sorry, before 2015. Yeah. Yeah, it was 2017, you know. Um, time flies. Yeah. Well, it was good. It started because I was whinging about not being able to play football. Yes. And you were replying to my tweets about that, saying how you were doing some sports stuff and setting up kind of. Well, I was doing some well, doing some like volunteering with uh, Leap Sports, with who were helping me set up uh, Seahorses Swim Group at that point in line. So we hadn't started that yet. And then just seeing Natalie's sad tweet, couldn't play football, I just got enraged. Yeah, enraged. Just, uh, how, how could the FA be stopping a beautiful person from playing football? So, I don't think it's measured on looks. No, just too well. That's just <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, so I have contacts and maybe they have contacts in England and we can do something about it. But we're also at this point in time planning this diverse identities and sports conference. Mm. Um, was it me who approached you or Hugh who approached you? Like I think it was you who put me in touch with Hugh. I think you said, we're having this conference. Maybe you should be involved or something. Mm. I think he emailed me, copied you in or something. Yeah, yeah I that now. I like to imagine that the whole conference was engineered so that you could invite me up here to Glasgow. Yeah, I but mean, I certainly was a, a role within the conference but as to engineering it, I think the plan was already in motion. <laughs> I just helped it along a bit. I certainly had a little bit of say in who would be good to invite, among many others, of course. It was a full committee thing. When was your dating video? Um, I could look it up on YouTube, couldn't I? But I think it was like October, November, probably something like that. That, that was also something that. Yeah. Um, oh of, yeah, because you you responded to that tweet and oh you should come up here, we'll find you somebody. Yeah, yeah and uh, obviously I was hoping that that somebody could have been. Nefarious. Could be me. <laughs> <laughs> um. But no, in terms of like coming for the conference and offering up my spare room, which we're sitting in, um, we that was it, was it was above board. If yeah, I was was like, you know, if I can stay in the spare room, I'm not going to make her feel uncomfortable. She's a welcome guest and will be a welcome guest. But if things should have gone in a different direction, then, well, yeah. And, and, and they did. Did, yes. Um, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, like, I, yeah, I flew up here. I've never been up here before. I mean, we'd never met before. 
We spoke yeah. online. So I flew up here, stayed stayed here. We went out a couple of times, and then you yeah. know, like kind of the night before we before I went home. Yeah, we were we'd gone to the end like end of conference dinner at uh, the Scottish Piping Centre. So it was like a typical Scottish dinner and a Kaylee and yeah, we were kind of conversing about the possibilities that we'd both said kind of the, the negative things like oh I don't really want a long distance relationship. I I think so. Yeah, not quite ready. Um, so. Didn't define what long distance was though, so I could have meant, you know, like transatlantic, that would mm-hmm. be perhaps too short. Mm-hmm. You know. So I was thinking, well, if something's going to happen, we can just have a nice night. Well, let's see, see, see what yeah. happens. But yeah, it wasn't until later on we'd gone to Poland, was it? Um, it was um, interesting. Yeah. Because there was one of the strange things were going on. With yeah. Strange people about them. <laughs> it was it was odd. Not many of the delegates came to that part. There was a few, so we walked down there with a few people. We then sat at a table and had a bottle of wine together. I was tapped on the shoulder by one of the waiters to draw my attention to a guy across the room who's wanting me to come over and speak to him. I was like. Um, can you not see? Kind of, it's some wonderful company already. It's like, so I just kind of looked across and just kind of, what? And then ignored and carried on. Um, that was one of the volunteers with Leap brought one of his friends over because he'd taken a shine to Natalie. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I got, yeah, a, met me. No, I got a text a couple of days later saying what Natalie's contact details. And I was just like, um, no. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and then there was the semi naked waiter. Yeah, there? there was, yeah, which is less so bad. Yeah, there's photographic evidence. Um, <laughs> <but> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that was, that's how, I, that's, that's a, that's the, the standard playbook for how you get two trans women together, is you just have a conference, you invite them to another part of the country, you um, go out with them and you know, have to drink alcohol. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and that's that's the standard, that's the playbook. Yeah. That's how it works. So follow those <laughs> steps and it all, all works really well. Yeah. And if anyone watches this, we might do some more about some other stuff. Yeah. But related to this. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs>